what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel so if you didn't know i was in japan for about 10 days with a bunch of other content creators like bran duck john min my lovely girlfriend Audi, and more a couple months ago i was gonna make a vlog for you guys but i'm not really good at making vlogs i'm trying to get better instead i said you know what let's make a video of everything i bought in japan because don't believe anything anyone says japan is expensive and there was so much that i wanted to buy and that i did buy to the point where I was kind of scared. How am I going to get this back to the United States? Today's video, we're going to be unboxing and showing off everything I bought because I bought a lot of cool stuff, especially I bought a lot of cool Genshin Impact stuff. But how much did you spend? Ah, we don't need to. What do I even start with? I have a, so many things. There's no particular order of stuff. You know what? I'll start with these first. So I love action figures and statues. I am a recent fan of Godzilla. I saw Godzilla minus one in theaters, and it might be one of the best movies I've ever seen. It made me cry. Yeah, I cried in a Godzilla movie. So I went to Tamashi Nations, and there was an Akia. Bara. Yeah, Akihabara. This was a new release. Godzilla versus Kong New Empire. Dude, this thing is so sick. He's fully posable. Here's the back of the box as well. I don't know if I want to unbox this one though yet because it's so sick. There's one thing that I bought that I had to check in as its own thing at the airport. But I'm going to save that for last. Okay, what's next? Uh, oh, oh my God. There's a there's a store called Don Quixote. It's a big store. Wow. It's like multi-levels, dude. There's like 15 levels. There's just so much that you want to buy. Like it's it's heaven. These are called nano blocks. They had a whole Pokemon section of these. They're just like Legos. What I didn't know though, is that these pieces are extremely small. Like they're not like Legos. Legos are bigger and easier to handle. Look how tiny these pieces are. This Pikachu is going to be impossible to build. So I bought Pikachu. <laughs> Venusaur, Gengar, Wordle, Charmander. <laughs> There's more. One of my favorite Pokemon, Rayquaza. I had to buy the fucking Rayquaza, dude. Oh my God. How many did you get? <laughs> There's more. And then this is the last one. Charizard. I had to get this one, dude. He's big. And they're posable, slightly posable. Oh, okay. So if you're ever in Japan, there's a bunch of gotcha machines, right? You can just walk up to them, put a coin in it, twist the knob the way it likes, and then it gives you a random gotcha thing. Look how cute this. We're, we're going to open these, though. I went to the store with John, and I was there was John and Bran. They had SpongeBob ones. I bought two of them. I found this Pikmin glass jar thing. Look how cute that is, dude. Little Terrarium. The banana cat uh, meme. Look at him. He's got little arms and stuff, bro. He's so cute. They had a bunch of different ones too, but we ended up going with this one, dude. It's so freaking cute. So there was a Studio Ghibli store that we went to in the mall. And bro, if you're a Ghibli fan, Ghibli fan, however you want to say it, dude, it is like heaven. Audie and I naturally had to get some Ghibli Ghibli gotcha stuff. So we'll open these up as well. Audie, am I okay to open up? Do you want to come in here while, when, when I open this stuff? Sure. Okay. Hello. Oh, she brought a cat as well. This one's yours. I'm going to lie. I, I want the rabbit one, chat. The bunny rabbit one. I think it's so cute. You want the caveman one? Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, it's like a closed box or a closed bag. All right, you go first. I go first? Yeah, you go first. You got the Patrick oh. made of stone. Oh. The one eternity later is what that one's called. Eternity later. I got. <gasps> I got this one, Jack. Hi, how are you? <gasps> it's a little Gary. It's like a silver Gary for some reason. Oh, that is so cute. Honestly, that's a win. Uh, this one's from Howl's Moving Castle. Okay, what did I get? I got. Oh, it's him cooking a meal, chat. Look, 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 look. I think it's Cal's for cooking a meal. See, it's a pot and like there's like eggs. And <gasps> it's when he's cooking the eggs and bacon. Oh my God, dude. That's cute. Oh, now I want eggs and bacon, bro. That was... Oh, I'm hungry. What did you get? <gasps> Audie got the classic right here. Look at that. Super cute, dude. It kind of... Oh my God, wait. Let me put this right here. It wobbles. Look at this. It's like a weeble wobble. That's so cute. I'm gonna open the, the Pikmin terrarium and see what we get, chat. This is our last gotcha thing. Audie wants the Temporas one, chat. All right. How am I, oh. 
Never mind, I figured it out. What did I get? <gasps> I got like the uh it looks like a giant Damn, why is it puckered in red, bro? Oh chat, I got the middle one. He breathes fire. Oh, that is so sick. That actually might be the biggest one that they have. So I think we won our 50-50. Hell yeah. What'd you get? Aww. That's cute though. She's sad. She wanted tempura and instead she got this one. Which I think is adorable. I'm sorry you didn't get the tempura. She lost her 50-50. Okay, this next thing I bought at 7-Eleven. Don't judge me. It reminds me of Peter because my real life cat Peter is an orange cat and he does this all the time. He tries to get uppies. He like he'll like stretch up big and then you like pick him up like this and you like you like raise him up. So I was like, oh my God, it's Peter. So I bought him. Now I have this weird cat in my room. And 7-Eleven, speaking of, bro, the 7-Elevens in Japan are fucking goated bro 7-elevens in, in the states suck ass 7-eleven in japan it's unreal the food quality is so good it's clean it's so much stuff like i a lot of my meals were through 7-eleven and now you might be thinking like as an american oh what no it's, it's just different you have to experience it to understand fully what i mean but bro so when we were in akihabara i was doing a lot of shopping i wanted a new keyboard i went to this pc store that like it, it was like it was eight or nine levels and each level was a different component to a computer so just gpus cpus and ram mice and keyboards monitors it was so crazy bro it's like a it's like a pc gamer's dream i bought this keyboard i have no idea what company even makes this keyboard but i tried it out and i thought that the switches felt so good i regret buying this though i regret buying it because after i bought it the group found a specific like custom keyboard shop brand bought this keyboard that just sounds heavenly hold on and i have I've been using it ever since Japan. This keyboard. This is the keyboard I currently use, bro. Oh my God. It is the best keyboard I have ever had. Just listen how this sounds. Oh my God, bro. The switches feel so good. It's heavy. I love it so much. So I wish I returned this one, but let's unbox this one real quick. All right, packaged pretty nicely. Oh yeah. Honestly, the keyboard looks cool though. I like the black and yellow. All right, let's do the typing test real quick. Yeah, I don't like it. The other one is like way better. Like by like a hundred times, it is way better. This is a Honkai Star Rail thing. I think I only bought like one Honkai Star Rail thing. It's a blade, Honkai Star Rail, like acrylic, like photo. Yeah, bladey, look at him. I live. <sighs> These next two things are probably my favorite things that I got. As I said, I love action figures and I love statues. I also really like Berserk. If you guys have heard, SH Figure Arts, that they like make figures and stuff, like really like detailed, highly posable figures, and I collect those. They came out with a new Guts figure, but it's him in his Berserker armor, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Everywhere I was, it was sold out everywhere. And it had just come out when I went to Japan. I was like, they had one left. And they f***ing had him. I went ape. I, I was like, rrr, rrr. I was like going crazy. Look how sick this is. I've been looking for him. He's newly released. He is just insane, bro. It's 13,000 yen. I don't know how much that is in US, but when I went to Japan, the yen to dollar ratio was incredible. Like going there as a United States like currency, like you, you're balling, bro. Everything was so cheap. It was tax free. No wonder you like Capitano. I do. I love Capitano. I, I, I like armor like that. I like medieval armor. I'm one of those guys. This, okay. Before I show you, let me tell you the story. So in the States, it wasn't out yet or it, yeah, it wasn't out yet. It was expensive as 
in the States. Wait, we were in Shibuya Crossing. There was a store. It was like, you had to like walk four flights downstairs and it was like an underground like anime figures and there was like sex dolls, actual hentai there and then like figures. It was a hodgepodge of a lot of shit, bro. I'm not joking. I swear to God, bro. Yeah. It was Mandrake. That's, that was the place. That was the place. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going through. They had a bunch of like really like classic action figures and stuff. It, trust me, chat. I wanted to buy out that entire store minus the hentai and minus the sex dolls. I found this. I have the other figures. I have the regular Peter Parker Spider-Man. I have the Miles Morales one. I have the Gwen Stacy. I needed one more to complete the, my, the collection I wanted to make. Spider-Man 2099 but sh figure art version he was the only one there he was cheap as f too i think like 70 or 80 bucks dude in the states he was like 200 300 bucks he was the last one i needed to complete my collection i was so happy you have no idea like the joy i tried to find someone i was like swim my son swim my son that's how you say like excuse me I'm like please someone help me unlock this because i didn't want someone to buy him bro i would have been i would have fought someone on the streets for him i love spider-man as you guys know across the spider-verse and into the spider-verse like my favorite movies that was like one of the highlighted things that i bought like oh oh my god chat we're almost done with the regular stuff and then we're gonna get into the genshin impact stuff okay because we bought we bought some good genshin impact stuff and remember i have one last thing to show you at the end that i'm very surprised i got back to the states as you guys know at least the community here knows that i used to draw a lot when I was younger, like until I was like 20 something, 21, I was like an artist. I was just drawing every day. I wanted to be a professional artist. Then I dropped, it. but I love art and I love art books. I collect art books. I like my favorite video games or favorite like movies or whatever. It was a big store. It's called Animate. It was a huge manga and anime store, bro. Any manga that you can and think of it was there i found a persona section and as you guys know if you watch my videos on youtube turtle while you're editing this cue the persona music you never see it come i got a lot of art books for persona so i got this one look how fucking thick that is bro that's what she said does the artwork of persona 5 man oh, i had to buy it bro i'll only open this one So like, look, you got like Mikoto. Fist of justice! The different like head styles. I love that so much, dude. These are Persona 5 spoilers, by the way. Look at this amazing photo of her. I want that as a poster. Oh my God, dude. Like these sketches, I love looking at this, bro. It really inspires me. This artwork right here, like the sketchy art, this is what I used to do. Like I like this kind of art a lot. God damn, now I want to draw again. <laughs> That's the Persona 5 art one of, because I bought more. Uh, <laughs> if you've played Persona 5, you also know that this Persona 5 Royal. They have a Royal one too. So I bought the Royal one. <laughs> As you guys also know, one of my favorite animes, and you can kind of see them right here, is Neon Genesis Evangelion. I am obsessed with Evangelion. So I bought this gigantic art book. They have Asuka on the cover of it, obviously. Yeah. Bro, so freaking sick, man. It's so big. Like this book, look how big, compared to my head, it's bigger than my head. And that is all of the regular stuff that I bought in Japan. Let's get into the Genshin Impact stuff I bought in Japan. So this was from the pop-up store that I went to. It was a t-shirt and I have not opened this t-shirt yet. Okay, I got it. Then the back of it, the right t-shirt. This is a 3XL, okay? In America, if you don't know this about me, I'm 6'3", 240 pounds, pure muscle, okay? This is what I tell myself. I usually wear like 2X here now, since I gained weight. I can tell you right now that this 3XL will not fit me. I bought a Godzilla t-shirt and I tried it on and bro, it was tight AF. But hey, at least I have it, right? Maybe I just need to like lose a lot of weight. I think I bought this also at the pop-up store and I just thought this was so cool. This is an acrylic stand, chat. Look at this. Look at Paimon with a little ice cream. It's like a little guoba and like a little sun hat. Got an ether in the middle. And then Lumine, like, dude, they look so cute, man. Especially the rainbow going over uh, Paimon. I had to get this for sure. Okay, I bought this. I don't remember where I bought this from. I think this is just a patch. Look at the Eno on like a little bicycle, dude, with the beetles in his, um, in his basket. I think it's so freaking funny, dude. I 
absolutely love that so much it is so cute these were also in animate i think this is just a magazine chat but it's a genshin impact magazine i'm gonna open this up for you guys right now because i want to see what the fuck is in this oh this is a genshin collaboration guidebook seven things to enjoy in tava is what it says on the back are these stickers I got stickers. There's Paimon stickers. I think it's just a Genshin Impact guide. Bunch of like foods that you can like make in the game, right? Oh. This is actually the fucking coolest part of this chat. Character birthday calendar. Holy shit. That's so sick. That's a really cool one. Remember when I said I like art books? Yeah. So I already have volume one uh, already opened and stuff on my bookshelf for the Genshin artwork. I didn't know they came out with a second volume and I found it in anime in Japan. So I had to buy the second volume for it. It's usually just like the standard art that you see in the games. But I mean, they got some cool art, though. So yeah, they just have like splash arts and stuff. That's a nice one. I also bought this in Animate and it had all the Archons on it, so I had to get it, dude. Look at that. A ride inventing Nahida Jean Lee. Let's open this one. I want to see what's in this one. Oh. So yeah, it, it shows you like the cast of the characters and then it shows you like infographs of each character, like a 360 view and like different information about them. Miyata. Our boy Kazawa. What is this? Is this like a family tree? Dude, they have a family tree in this. And how people relate to each other and like how they know each other and stuff. <gasps> Wait, is this a poster? Hold on. <sighs> this is hard. Aww. And a poster. I like this one a lot, man. There's a lot of cool info. If only I could read Japanese. I literally don't know what these are. Wait, um, let's open them, I guess, and see what comes in these. Pokemon cards? These are so sick. They're like these see-through photographs. I got Faru's on. Oh, these are cool though. I didn't know what these were. I think they gave these to me at the pop-up store as like a gift for spending money, so. Shut the f up, dude. We got a Kave, dude. That's so f***ing sick. There's my C6 Kave. We found him, guys. After many years of him being gone, we found him. He does exist. Got a Layla. That one's cute. I like Layla. <laughs> oh my god, bro. We got Kave's boyfriend. I'll hate him. That's f***ing hilarious, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty happy with that haul, though. Getting a Kave and an I'll hate them is kind of sick. Oh, this was cute. I got this. Uh, it's like a keychain, but it can also be like an acrylic stand. Look at how beautiful this one is, chat. That artwork is gorgeous. And then I found this amber. Look at look at this amber, bro. Here, let me un let me unbox it. This thing is so weird. I don't even know where I got this. Oh, I got this from Mandrake. Yeah, look at her, dude. Looks like a little burrito, like an amber burrito. <sighs> I think it's super cute, though. A little loaf. All right, I have two gotchas for Genshin chat. John had an extra one, so he gave me this one. These are the ones that we can get. Which ones do you think we're going to get, chat? Don't say Chi Chi, please. I kind of hope I get Chong Yoon. Just so I can be like, haha, I got Chong Yoon to John after him giving this to me. I got Chong Yoon. I got Chong Yoon. <laughs> oh my god. I actually got Chong Yoon. That is the funniest fucking thing in the world, bro. Hold on. Let me call him real quick. Hello? Hey, John. I'm, you're on speaker. Hi. Say hi to chat. Yo, what's up, chat? Yo, Twitch Prime subbed Endoro 44. Five subs. Endoro will post feet pics in his Discord journal chat. Okay, we don't need it. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm bothering you with something. I'm so sorry. Um, no, you're good. I'm streaming right now, and I'll just, I'll just finish it up with your mother. But uh... we're unboxing all no, this. It's okay, sweetie. You can leave the towel. <laughs> this mother. Don't call my mother, sweetie. Um, I just yes. opened the gotcha thing that you gave me in the Airbnb. The, the character oh, yeah. one. Who do you think I got? Uh, oh my gosh, did you get Chi Chi? I got Chong Yoon. <laughs> hey, let's go. I was saying, I wonder if I, I, I hope I get Chong Yoon so I can tell John that I got Chong Yoon and I Hell got yeah, him, dude. dude. I had the, you freaking 
get lucky duck, I had to open nine of those. <laughs> I got a single Chun Yun. Nine? Holy. I had to open one, and it was the one you gave me. Well, I'm proud. Thank you. You make sure he has a nice spot, okay? Somewhere. Take I, care of my pookie. I will. I will. Okay. Sorry if I bothered you. I will give you. No. Literally, you, don't you dare ever apologize to me ever again. Uh, Any day I get to hear your luscious voice is a pure blessing. I'm so much. I get to see you in a week, almost. Oh, yeah. We can kiss and hold hands. All right. Uh, have a great rest of your day, and uh, thanks. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Love you, bye. All right. What is wrong with him? Anyway, moving on from that chat. Okay, I think this is a gotcha, but I also think I got every single one of these. Honestly, I don't know what I bought. Hold on a second. <laughs> I forgot this. I bought the entire box, so I... I think we got them all. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. There's eight of them in here. I did not think I did that. Okay. There's a box. Does it tell you which ones are on the front? No, they don't. I don't know if it comes with all of them, so we gotta open them up, chat. Let's do it. Our first one. Back in the Luke. What is he in a bed? Well, I hope that's our only the Luke. Next one is. <gasps> we got a clean. Oh, she's so cute. Next one is <gasps> Sleeping Shao. Shut the f up. I don't really like him, but like that is actually adorable. He's like at peace, dude. Okay, next one. Mona. Oh, Mona's adorable too with her hat off. Wait, have we ever seen Mona without their hat? She has a book. She fell asleep reading a book that is actually so cute. Okay, got it. Boom. It is a Ganyu. She's like half awake and she's just sleeping in the grass with butterflies around her. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> Kaya. Why is he giving us a smirk like that? Look at that. He's kind of like, <laughs> hey there. <laughs> what you doing? Baby? I'm sorry. Anyway, next one is Zhang Li. It is. He's kind of like, he looks dead. I ain't going to lie. All right. Last one should be Tartalia. Boom. Yo, hey, my man's a little sussy with it, though. He's like, hey, girly. He's mewing at us right now. We have four more items, chat. And the fourth one is the last one, the big one. So first and foremost, I found this figure of Mona. An SH Figure Arts Mona, dude. It was cheap AF, too, dude. It was like 50 bucks or 40 bucks. You can pose her, right? Look at all these poses you can do. I had to get her, bro. Because in the United States, dude, these cost way more, like hundreds. There, I bought this for 40 bucks. I fucking had to. Like, that's pretty pog. There. Yeah. This one, Twitter really got jealous of. It is a camera from Genshin, and it shoots bubbles yeah you heard that right it shoots fucking bubbles bro <gasps> whoa this is what it looks like dude very detailed okay and it comes with a strap okay it does not come with bubble juice but yeah there's like buttons on the side and you press them and i guess it shoots the bubbles but that's so cute though oh my god just as a display this is so freaking cute we have two more things one of them is bigger than these guys and then the last thing is the biggest thing i bought so i found this statue in the mandrake uh, it was in a glass case with that mona by the way not opened yet This big ass ether statue. Holy. Ugh. Look how big it is. It is so sick. From what I remember, I legit think I only bought this for like 80 bucks. How much is this in the United States? Let's see. About $180, $170, $290. On Genshin Global, $300, dude. Plus shipping. This was 80 or 70 dollars let's see how high if it's high quality or not jack because i don't even know oh all right he's so freaking high dude look at him look how high quality this figure is look at look at his face hold on let me put the sword in
this thing is so sick the thing about statues is sometimes they look so derpy but like this one doesn't look derpy he looks like perfect pretty much oh i'm very happy about that one jack that is almost everything we have bought in japan but we have one more thing in the united states it goes for about 400 500 dollars six hundred dollars sometimes i bought it for a hundred and twenty i believe if i remember correctly a hundred and twenty dollars audi you may bring in our last thing that i bought in japan <laughs> yeah that's the official packaging that it comes in in akihabara our second day i got there i had to carry this thing around shopping <sighs> this thing i had to check that into the airport as its own checked bag that's how big this thing is and heavy it's been in the box in my kitchen for literally like months since i got back from japan i've been waiting to do this that's the top of it this is the statue of us It's another fucking box. Whoa, look at that. Ah. Oh my God, bro. She's beautiful. Look at the hair. Now we're gonna try to set up the stand, chat. Step one, complete. Gorgeous. Would walk around Akihabara and try to figure out how to get out of Donkey on my second day in a foreign country just to have that purchase all over again. I think it's gorgeous. I love Peter so much. And it was definitely worth it trying to get through customs and getting to our next flight to get home in 30 minutes with that box because we not only had two truck bags, we had two carry ons plus the box to get home. 10 out of 10, I would do that again. So my room is a mess now. <laughs> you, do you, hold on, look at my room real quick. There are literal boxes everywhere. That's everything I bought in Japan. And I bought a lot, too much. But honestly, that Ningguang statue is worth it. That statue is beautiful. And for the price I paid, bro, that statue goes for like $500, $600 in the United States. I bought it for like 120, brand new, in box, never opened. All I had to deal with is walking around Akihabara with a big awkward box and then checking it in as his own check bag into the airport to ship back home. Well, I don't even play Ningguang, but I, I, I might now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you watched this on YouTube, probably got to learn a little bit more about me and my interests and, uh, uh, yeah let me know in the comments what you thought what your favorite thing uh, i got was and uh i'll catch you guys at the next one